welcome back to my channel. Just want to quickly say I'm sorry for no videos this week. Life has been hectic. Life... Life has been hectic. Working. Adulting. You know, the usual. I am going to be talking about my tattoos. Um, I've always been a little bit iffy on showing my tattoos... Um, online, um, I'm one of those people where I really don't want them to be copied, um, even though it's a free world and the stuff I do is not claimed to me. Um, but it's just one of those underlying paranoias, but I thought, fuck it, I'm going to talk about them. Because I like them. They're on my body, they're here forever, so here I am. So, the first tattoo I will talk about, I'm going to talk about my tattoos in chronological order as much as I can. The first tattoo I got is under my boobs. Um, my, it's a sternum piece. I got that three days after I turned 18. Um, basically, I had always wanted to get tattooed as... As long as I had known tattoos were a thing, I had wanted to get them. I was thinking about getting tattoos so I can... I can assure you, at least at the age of 14, 13, 12 type of thing, I'd wanted to get tattooed. Um, so, basically, with my sternum piece, I kind of did what you shouldn't do and just found an artist, went, yep, I'm going to get something done by that person, and I booked in and I got something I kind of regret, kind of a bit iffy on, but whatever. So I got a mandala sternum piece, um, basically it was kind of a thing at the time, I was like fuck it, I'm going to do it, I don't remember if it was me asking for it or if we, like the artist, like we were chatting to the artist and he was like yeah we can do this and this and whatever. The place I got it done is um, no longer operating. Um, I heard that they closed down, it was in Adelaide, but what can we do? I don't remember how much it costs, nor really the pain level. Um, I remember it hurt like a motherfucker, but I don't know if that was because it was my first tattoo, so I really didn't know the pain um, associated with it. Um, but I got my sternum done as a first piece, and I highly recommend people don't do it. Um, I highly recommend people don't get their hand, their feet, their knees, elbows, chest, you know, ribs, anything like that. I don't recommend it as a first tattoo, but if you want it as a first tattoo, go right ahead. I'm not here to stop you. It's just one of those pain level things that I kind of, I kind of just want to let people ease into the tattooing industry as opposed to just going in balls deep. So the next piece I got is on my arm. I am one of those weird people. I will name my tattoos. I have a t I have names for all my tattoos as opposed to two, I think, two of my pieces. I like to name my tattoos. So I got a fox on my arm and the fox's name is William. Um, my opinion, he looked like a William. So I named him William. Um, I went to see Hurricane Sylvia at Wolf and Wren in Australia. Um, well, in South Australia, not in Adelaide City, but in South Australia, Wolf and Wren, um, Hurricane Sylvia, because she did Neo Traditional. I have, I'm a big fan of Neo Traditional. All my tattoos, beside that mandala piece at the moment, are Neo Traditional. I adore it, I love it, so that's what I get. And she was the first person I actually stumbled across that I liked the style, the Neo Traditional style she did. And. I booked in, and I'm a massive animal person. All of my tattoos, besides the mandala piece, are animals. Um, I, that's so that's just what I went for, really. Um, I have no other comment to say on it. Um, I like foxes. Uh, I think they're adorable. I would love to get a fox skull to add to my little collection. But so yeah, so I started with her with the idea of getting a full sleeve done in like a nature foresty type of thing so as you can see I've got leaves there's a bit of sky around it um, 
William's in the center, obviously poking out the little branches. Um, pain level, I, this wasn't too bad. Um, I remember around like the, the inner elbow, or the inner elbow, <laughs> like where the, um, where your armpit is, that's the word. Where the armpit is was really spicy, um, but I would have to say, honestly, for the entire, like, half sleeve, I got the, I got the line work done and I got the colour work done in two sessions. I would have to honestly rate the pain a 3 or a 4 out of 10. It honestly was not bad at all. I could sit for a hundred arm tattoos at the moment, um, places I've got tattooed, obviously the places I haven't, I cannot comment on. But yeah, it was a very painless tattoo in terms of my preference, but generally speaking, arms are one of the painless places to get tattooed, but we shall see. Moving on, this was when I was 19, I believe, so I got my previous two tattoos when I was 18. When I was 19, I got my chest done. I knew I wanted to be covered head to toe tattooed and I didn't care about what people thought of that in the sense of oh you shouldn't get tattoos, it's gonna look horrible when you're 80 years old, oh no man's gonna like you because of that. Shut up, I don't care. So I went and got my chest piece done. Yeah, so I stumbled across Sonia Bo on Instagram. Now, I was absolutely blown away by her stuff. I saw her and I was like, I need to have something done by her on me. I need to. And the next place I was thinking of was my chest. Um, so I was like, hell, I'm going to do it. Sonia Bo at this time was actually an apprentice. Um, I don't know why, but I seem to find, have a knack for finding people that I lo love their work that an apprentice. Aside, I found her through Instagram, I sent her a message and I was like, hey, this is my idea, what do you think? Sonia was really good at responding back to me, we communicated our ideas, I gave her, you know, an outline of what I kind of wanted done, I knew that I wanted a cat skull somewhere, the rest was up to her to kind of figure it out. So it was a couple of months later when my booking finally came around and this is the absolute gorgeous piece that she gave me. I remember being blown away by it. This was the original drawing she did. I had absolutely nothing altered about it. This was beautiful and I fell in love with it. I knew I wanted it on me. So we did it. Um, we had to do this piece in, I think, three or four sessions. Four, we had to do it in four sessions because, holy crap, um, the pain was intense on this one. Oh my god, I would have to say the pain out of this one was at least, like, in general, the outline was about a five or a six out of ten, but the entire piece on its own had to be a nine. It was so bad. I know other people can get their chest done and their pain is less than mine. It can be more than mine. For me personally, this was horrible. And the way I tell it to people is if I had two chests, I would not get the other one tattooed. That is how bad it is. So after I got my chest piece, I then got, I believe, my back, like my neck done. Um, as you can see in this clip, there is two tattoos that you can see. There is a bee and then there is a moth. I got the moth done first, um, and then I got the bee second. So with the moth, I knew I wanted a moth on me, I knew I wanted the deadhead moth on. I absolutely love the deadhead moth, and you know, for goth credit, goth points, um, I thought I'd get it, and I love it. It's on the back of my neck, so a lot of the time I forget it's there, um, unless someone comments on it. Um, I can see the bee over my shoulder, but... I can't see the moth, I will never be able to see the moth with my own two eyeballs, but I love it, don't regret it whatsoever. And then that bee, so I wanted to get a bee done, also save the bees, bees are good, we need them, do I need to say more? Oh, also my chest is uh, at this point in time called Nyx, um, I've got a tattoo coming up of the goddess Nyx, so I'm going to have to 
figure out a way to change it, but that's the name of the cat's is Nyx. Then when I was 20, I got my inner arm done. Uh, this wasn't done by Sonia. I was following a couple of tattoo artists and this was around the Halloween, just after Halloween. So I was like, I want to get a Halloween piece. And I saw this goat on a tattoo flash done by um, Casey Meg. And yeah, I went in, booked in, got it done. Pain was fine. It was, I don't remember it being bad. A 2 or a 3 at max. The pain was not bad at all. It was a little bit spicy, like, in the inner elbow part, but honestly, it wasn't bad at all. Um, yeah, and we decided to name him uh, Sir Billy Goat, because I'm gay like that. Then I got my hand tattooed by Sonia, as you can see here. So, I had been at a job that allowed tattoos i had never been in a job that told me to cover up my tattoos i thought i was in a job where i had to cover up my tattoos but we didn't i just thought we had to so at the job i was in when i got my hand tattooed i had a chat to my boss about it and i was like hey tattoos i know they're cool but visible tattoos job stopper ta tattoos what's the go on that Basically, he was like, you can get a fucking tattoo as long as it's not offensive or on your face or on your neck. Done. Sold. So I booked in with Sonia. I got my hand tattooed. I got a beetle. I got a scarab beetle, an Egyptian scarab beetle. So I got my hand tattooed with a beetle with the idea of getting another beetle on the opposite hand. Um, I want to get a crystallized beetle on this hand. Like a little matchy matchies. But yeah, basically I wanted to get my hand done because I liked how hand tattoos look. Um, I am getting, I am waiting for an appointment to get my sleeve done. So it's not just out here in the open like this. But yeah, I, I was in a job that allowed me to have a hand tattoo. So I got my hand tattooed. So it's not a job stopper. Moving on, I am 21 at this point, so which means I got my legs tattooed. So the first one I got is on my left leg, above, above, below the knee. It is a skull with roses. Um, basically, yeah, it's what it is. Um, a friend of mine is an apprentice tattooist, so she was having a bit of flash. I wanted to support her. So, and I, and I like the design as well, so I went and I got my lower knee, upper calf area done. Pain was not bad at all. I remember wanting to ship bricks because of it, because it was on the bone. Um, it was near the knee, so I was really scared about going and getting it done. It was fine, honestly. The pain is, yeah, a two or a three um, as before. It wasn't bad at all over and done with in about a couple of hours not long at all and then moving on i went and got my spider tattooed so basically yeah same artist um that did the uh the lower knee her name is chelsea and she's also like she was an apprentice um she put up some more flash sheets i was really umming and ahhing about getting the spider done and i thought just Fuck it, I'm going to go get it. I got the money, why not? So, the spider's name is Max, and he has a pumpkin butt, because we're always Halloweening up in here. Moving on to my latest tattoo, and one that I absolutely love, is on my right leg, alongside the calf, and it's a rabbit. His name is Kofu. And as you can see, he's, um, he's got a bit of gut spilling out. Basically, her name is Kara Rose. Um, I saw that she had posted a couple of custom-made pieces. And I was really just umming and ahhing about it. So I eventually sent her a message and I booked in and I got it. Here was a five-hour session. And holy crap, the pain was bad on this one. He was a spicy boy. So I kind of went into this sit, like the other sitting with Kofu, kind of ballsy and not really anticipating how much pain I would truly be in. Um, he wasn't nearly as bad as my chest, but the pain on this one actually 
made me throw up and it made me almost black out because I didn't eat beforehand. Listen kids, eat before getting a tattoo. No matter what, if you're going to be late for your appointment, don't care. Go get some food. Eat. Sugar. Zucker. Sugar. So yeah, basically moral of this story was I didn't eat beforehand. I went into a five hour tattoo session on a really painful spot right after I finished work. And I threw up. Oh, um, a tattoo I actually forgot about. I can't remember when I got it done. I think it must have started when I got my um, moth done and then finished when I got um, William done. Was my hand tattoo, uh, my little finger tattoos. As you can see, I have my finger tattooed. They are bad. Because um, they're right on the cuticle. They're bad. They were painful. A seven, definitely. Um, so, just, like, that were that bad that I probably wouldn't get my fingers tattooed. Even though I kind of want to. But, you know, I probably wouldn't get my fingers tattooed anytime soon, at least. So, that was all of my tattoos. Um, of course, I have... Plans in the future, I'm currently booked in to get two new tattoos within the next month or two and I'm super excited to get them. This was more of a documentary so I can look back in the future and go, oh my god, look, she's a little baby, she's only got like five or ten tattoos, they're so cute. But yeah, um, please comment down below any tattoos that you have, any tattoos that you want to get, um, what you think of people with tattoos even. But please keep it civil, keep it humanized, you know, don't go bashing people with tattoos because you don't like them. Um, I'll probably make a video in the future about tattoos um, and generally my experience with tattoos because my experience having tattoos has been nothing like a lot of the videos I have seen about people with tattoos. Um, so I thought I'd comment on that. Anyway. Please like, comment your tattoos, and subscribe if you want more. Um, like I said, I'm sorry that I haven't done any videos this week. But I'm going to try and get two videos out every week if I can. Um, so yeah. Bye!